Hey folks, Chief with Crazy Faith here. It's April 14th, 2015. It's a Tuesday night, so I just got back from the Nisqually Jail. We had Bible study tonight, and um, Eli, Malia, and Jerry, actually all four of us kicked it in with the ladies. Mason County, um, County Jail, actually shut down their, their part of the women's facility and so we were all together tonight because they're making some transitions in the Nisqually Jail to house more of the ladies, uh, the overflow from Mason County. And you know what? I find that as good news. I find it as awesome news. We had 27 ladies with us tonight and 27 precious, beautiful women. Some of them we've seen before and a bunch of them we had not. And we just, I, I started off a little bit, Malia shared, uh, she shared her, her daily devotion by Joyce Myers. And you know what? It just was spot on for these ladies. Um, Eli piggybacked right on back of that. Jerry shared, and then I shared and kind of wrapped things up and testified a little bit. And I, I, one of the verses that I shared from was from Colossians. And I love Colossians. If you haven't read Colossians, you need to go spend some time there. But Paul wrote this, and I read from Colossians 1, verse 13. And I, I actually, I spit it from um, Proverbs 14, verses 1 and 2. And you know what? It's all in how you take those verses. They're good verses. They're a little direct, but they're good verses. But I ended with Colossians 1.13, and I want to read that to you. I read from the Holman version, and it says, He has rescued us from the domain of darkness and transferred us into the kingdom of the Son He loves, in whom we have redemption, the forgiveness of sins. Folks, the redemption, the forgiveness of our sins, all of our sins, and I ended with that, and I challenged the ladies. I said, you know what? If there's anyone here that wants to give their life to the Lord and, and ask him into your heart, whether it's your first time, whether it's your millionth time, it doesn't matter. Stand with me. And guess what? 26 of the 27 ladies stood up, and we prayed together. And I'm going to give you that prayer, too. You can pray at any time. All you have to do is come into agreement with it. But I just challenge you, if you pray this, post down below. Say, I prayed it. I agreed with it. Because if you can't make a stand um, in a safe place like this on my wall, where, where there are more believers and more people that are, are interested in believing than not, um, if you can't make a stand right here on my wall, you can't make a stand out there. You just can't, right when it counts. So here's the prayer. Hey, God, forgive me of my sins. Help me not to do the things that don't make you happy or I'm going to keep doing them. Lord, I pray a healthy distance between myself and the people and things that aren't a good influence. And that's going to suck because it's going to mean I'm going to lose people in my life. But that's a good thing, Lord. I don't know what you see in my life, but you see something because he sent this short, tattooed half-breed to be making all these videos. So, Lord, take my life. Do what you want with it. Thanks for sending your son to come kick it down here on earth with us. Amen. See, that's all it takes. And if you said that, welcome home. Have a good night. I'm praying for you. As always, I love you, and I'm proud of you. Oi.